frankly, I think it's pathetic. Yeah, Prescott City Councilman fired from his radio show tonight for calling this school mural pathetic and saying he doesn't understand why there's a black guy painted on the building. This is 3 TV News at 9. I'm Beverly Kidd. The firing just the latest fallout from a controversy that's been brewing for a few days now up in the high country. And tonight, the murals artist tells 3 TV he was forced to lighten the skin of the child in the mural because of mounting political pressure. 3 TV's Karina Sun live up north with tonight's top story. Karina? Bev, we talked to that artist today. He told us that school officials wanted him to make the kids look more like they were radiating with happiness. Translation, he made their smiles more pronounced and he had to lighten the color of their skin. The mural, we developed the design, after which was supposed to promote green transportation, or no problems with her, is creating a stir because of some other colors. Get the black kid off the wall with the, you know, N word. The mural's artist, R.E. Wall, says those are the kinds of comments he's heard over the last two months, and all around town, feelings are mixed. I think the mural is great. It's wonderful. I see a giant kid on there, and it looks more like graffiti than it does art. I think it's pretty tacky and pretty ugly. I love the mural. Wall and other artists have been working on this mural at Miller Valley Elementary School since March. His group, Prescott Downtown Mural Project, got a $5,000 grant from the city's Alternative Transportation Center to paint the mural that was handpicked by students and teachers. City Councilman Steve Blair wants it removed and has discussed it a number of times on his local radio talk show. I, I disagree with the whole um, perspective that uh, you would have a black guy painted on two sides of that building when the history of Prescott never had a culture issue. Today, Blair was fired from his show at KYCA AM 1490, and although the mural won't be removed, school officials have ordered that it be altered. He wanted to see the kid rising up as if he was coming into the light and um, radiating with happiness. Wall says that means he had to change one of the kids' smiles and lighten the face of the mural's main figure, a decision he hopes is more artistic than political. The idea of lightening up the faces would they believe was to make a better picture, whether it was a truth or it was couched in a comfortable way of explaining it, I don't know. And today, I try to get a hold of two of the story's key figures, but the principal of the school, as well as city councilman Steve Blair, did not want to go on camera with us this evening. Now, meanwhile, there is a protest plan tomorrow at the school to uh, oppose the changes that are being made to the mural. We will be there. We will have the latest for you on this controversial story tomorrow on Good Evening Arizona. Reporting live, Karina Sun, Green TV.